Tonight we learn how a simple move like changing who manages a local medical clinic is actually the first step to securing the future of health care in Ogdensburg. Just before Christmas, Claxton Hepburn Medical Center announced Carthage Area Hospital would take over managing five clinics in Ogdensburg, Canton, Madrid, Hammond and Waddington. Nothing really changes, not the staff, the location, not the services. But what it does do, according to the hospital's CEO, Rich Duvall, is keeps hundreds of health care jobs in Ogdensburg and honors pensions. To split the current Claxton Hepburn Medical Center into two separate facilities, the state has to say okay. It would create an expanded, standalone behavioral health inpatient facility owned by Claxton. The current hospital in Ogdensburg becomes a critical access hospital run by Carthage Area Hospital. A plan submitted to the state because Claxton wasn't going to survive on its own, being crushed by 30 to $50 million in debt. In late December, CEO Rich Duvall heard the news he wanted to hear from Albany. The state said yes to step one of the plan. Carthage could run Claxton's clinics. If we wouldn't have received the endorsement from the Department of Health to move in this direction, I think it would have made us uh, take a real hard look at uh, those services that are needed to be offered. Hundreds of jobs are at stake and pensions as well. With the state saying yes to this first step, Duvall believes it's good news. No job loss, uh, honoring our pension commitment to our employees and ensuring the services. With step one approved, step two comes later this month when the state's Public Health and Health Planning Council reviews the plan. That official endorsement will mean the hospital can be split into two. And the third step is getting the critical access hospital designation from the federal government. It means fewer beds in Ogdensburg, but a better reimbursement rate from the government. Duval is thankful for the community's support, but knows there are skeptics. I think the, the skepticism is people are concerned that we're going to lose services and or close locations um, that will impact uh, the care that we provide to our community. And that is not what we're doing. Uh, we're doing this for the exact opposite reasons as we discussed. Keep, uh, preserve the services, preserve jobs, and honor our pension uh, obligation to our employees. And with the first step approved, Duvall says the transition of clinic management over to Carthage has been going well. Admits there are a few hiccups, but nothing that wasn't expected.